Hello, fellow members of the Micro Squad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to glue these motor mounts onto Lego axles. If you have ever tried to design and print Lego compatible parts, you will have noticed that it's very difficult to get a good press fit. So we have decided to rely on glue to fix these mounts to the axles. And if you've ever tried to glue something to Lego parts, you might have noticed that most glue doesn't stick very well to Lego because it's very slick and flexible. So what I'm doing is cutting little grooves into the end of the axles so that the glue has something to grip on and it doesn't really need to stick to the surface. To keep the mount on the axle. Just one groove into each of the protruding bits of the axle. Just go around, cut it in there and I like to offset them a little bit to weaken the axle as little as possible. You can use a rotary tool if you have one, if not, just use a hand file or a hobby knife. Just something for the glue to grip on. I'm using this 5 minute epoxy from our friends at Hobby King. And I think the container has a significant design flaw. If you look at these two plungers, they're usually connected to each other, but if they're connected, you'll never get the same amount of the two components out of there. So what I've done is cut those two plungers apart so I can plunge the two components separately. The moment you start mixing, that's when the clock starts ticking and then you have around three minutes before it gets too gooey to be applied properly. The easiest way I found to apply the glue to the joint is to force a little bit into the mount. Squeeze it in there and then take the excess off. And I like to do assembly line work. Do the same step over and over first. So I put a little bit of glue into each of the mounts and when that's done stick the axle in there. You want to have enough glue in there that it comes out at the sides. So see that was not not enough. I'll put a little bit more in there and then try again. Stick it in there and now see that it pushes out some glue. So you can wipe off the excess if you want but since the glue doesn't really stick that well to the axle you can just leave it dry and then if you fancy you can scrape off the excess glue afterwards. Next one, see, not enough. Squeeze in a little bit more and try again. That's it, squeezes out of the sides. Just leave it like that and finish the other two. The mounts themselves are ripped on the inside as well. So in both cases on the axle end on the mount this process doesn't really rely so much on adhesion to the parts but just the form the shape of the glue when it's dried will keep both parts in place and lock it in for eternity now you could probably build a more lightweight quad by using one longer axle and then attach two mounts, one on each end. 
but by only gluing them to one side I will be able to reuse those axle mount combinations in a lot more different builds and that's the goal here so yeah first try to make bricks fly is to make short axles like this with one mount per axle if you want to play along and make your own bricks fly click the link in the video description where there will be parts and um, another video and probably more videos in the future and a link to the related forum thread and as usual if you have questions or comments leave them in the comment section below i read all comments on this channel and i reply to most of them see you later